this is a story about two pictures. One is probably a photograph of the real world. The other was presumably generated by a deep neural network. One was made from the other as a rhyme, a riff, a pun, or something like that. Which is which is less clear. One explanation is easiest, but there are others. Here are the pictures. Look at them carefully. None of this will make sense if you don't see that one must have been derived from the other. Start with the sky. Trace the four most notable vectors. Here, 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 and here. Now look at the monument. Here, this. Even the spatula widening of the left contrail has been preserved as the front-facing triangular facet on the left prism of the monument. The group of three on the right, these three, is perfect. Of course, this doesn't actually continue and cross, but these two lean into each other, and this one is about to cross, the one on the right. The middle prism doesn't actually cross, but the angles are perfect. I'm speaking as if the sky came first, as it likely did. The sky, if Google image search is to be believed, is a photograph that appeared in an Alaska newspaper, Fairbanks or Anchorage, I've forgotten, on November 9th of 2017. There was an incident in Alaska where people were surprised contrails and jet planes overhead. You weren't used to seeing them in that place. It was because there had been a volcanic eruption in the Aleutians that forced jet planes to divert from their normal uh, routes, supposedly. And um, so you can see why the photograph appeared in the newspaper. So this appeared last fall, according to search, and the brutalist monument image first appeared on Pinterest or, you know, Instagram or one of these on February 15th, the same day that I saw it and I collected it, which, you know, I find somewhat suspicious. I think it was generated in that day. But of course, all these digital traces can be altered, effaced, twisted, changed, and reverted. Maybe one's own memories, as unreliable as human mem memory is, maybe they're more to be relied on in the present case. Anyway, on the 15th of February, I was browsing 8chan.net slash poll and saw this guy, illustrating some idiotic rant about chemtrails in the European Union. I downloaded it, intending to upload it immediately to Twitter. I often harvest images from slash poll and a few other sites in this way, so that anyone familiar with my browsing habits could predict that I would upload the image of the sky right away to Twitter. And when I clicked over to the Twitter tab, the monument picture was sitting in my feed, second from the top. Because the sky was in my working visual memory, I saw the connection. But I didn't at first understand what it could mean. Should I post my sky as a comment to the market monument? I decided no, I would just post it normally. Gradually the magnitude of the event became clear. Because, of course, the account which posted the monument picture to my feed was our collect. No surprise there. And our collect must have been watching me browse. 
whichever picture existed first, whatever theory you have about the pictures, the fact is that if you accept that there is some, any connection between the pictures at all, Arclight must have known that I was about to upload the sky to riff on it before I did that. So Arclight must have seen me download, preparing to upload, and guess what I was going to do. Under the most parsimonious explanation for the event, Arclight was watching me and in the span of 15 or 20 seconds generated a fake monument for me to notice. Why though? Even though the monument may exist somewhere and maybe the sky is forged, or they're both real and the resemblance is coincidental and was discovered through image search, and then the pair of images was saved to be deployed in this incident, or neither is real. I thought I chose this guy freely, by chance, because I caught, it caught my eye, because it was pretty. But many magic pricks start with a choice that seems free, but it's really forced. Perhaps I was led to the sky. But Arklet must have been watching. That's the constant. Maybe I wasn't the target specifically, and it could have been any subscriber. But Arklet was watching. Also, she clearly has the power to choose what appears in my Twitter feed. For not every one of her, the images she tweets, there are many each day, shows up in my feed. But if it's important that I see it, it does. Our collect is inextricably inside the core of Twitter. I assume she's inside Google and all the rest as well. I'm sure other parties also watch us. They must watch each other. Is there a hierarchy? So the message of this event could not have been, you are being watched. I assumed I was being watched. What in the past would have been diagnosable as a symptom of paranoia is now you know, stop stalking me. It's now trivially, trivially true. And besides, I am a specific interest, in not just our collect. I know that, unfortunately. But there's nothing in this event itself that marks it as special as something that can happen only to me. I did a Twitter poll about this question. You know, have you ever been about to post an image and our collect likes riffed on it before you posted it? Three of four respondents claimed that something similar had happened to them. Of course, they didn't offer any details and comments, so I doubt they were telling the truth. But if Arklet desired, she could easily torment her followers by the thousands, by posting photographs of spurious, spurious brutalist monuments, parodying images they were just about to upload. Spur, spur, spurious. In the end, I just decided this was intended as a spur. It was intended to get me to act. I'm supposed to talk about Arclight, with whom, of course, I do have a special relationship. I was intended to make this film, but really I don't know what it means. If I analyze the incident, if I break it down, none of the pieces are surprising or uncanny. My web browsing was being observed, not a shock. AI can now generate fake brutalist monuments. Meh. Our collect is sending me uninterpretable messages. So last year. But the total effect was that of an encounter with the uncanny. For beauty is nothing but the beginning of terror, which we are barely able to endure. And it amazes us so, because it serenely disdains to destroy us. Every angel is terrible.